So today we're going to look at variations of exercises done to strengthen and activate the gluteus medius. I have a good silent partner, Stannis, who's not talking. Oh, no, he talks. No, he talks. Yeah. He's going to demonstrate a couple of exercises that you can do to strengthen and activate the muscles on the side of the hip. These are frequently weak in people, uh, leading to back injuries, knee injuries, ankle injuries, and little finger injuries, possibly. First exercise we're going to do for activation is the clamshell. So, this time, if you want to work that, get in position. Are you not doing it? You want to do the legs straight. No, I want you to do a clamshell. That looks like a leg abduction. He's very, very tired today. Aren't you, Astana? <laughs> Remember the clam? There we are, knees together, <laughs> legs bent up to 90 degrees. Good, so keep the hips stacked, lift the knee up as high as you can, feel a squeeze in the back of the hip. Good, good. That's the clamshell. If you want to progress the clamshell exercise, relax, you can put a band around your knees. Uh, do you want to do that? Yeah, I'll try. Same starting position, knees are bent to 90 degrees, and uh, you feel the pressure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of a difference to blue, isn't it? There are different bands, uh, band strengths you can get, but this is a great exercise if you're starting to work on activating the muscles in the lateral aspect of the hip. Um, three sets of 10 to 20 repetitions, and you should be feeling that. Moving on, if you want to progress that to a slightly more complicated exercise, we we'll take the band off. We'll move to the lying leg abduction. Ab, ad, yeah. Okay. This exercise starts lying sideways on. Bent leg is bent. Sorry, the bottom leg is bent. Top leg is straight. Now, there are a couple of errors that people make with the side lying uh, leg raise. The first error is that they let the leg drift forward of their torso. This is going to activate into the hip flexors ever so slightly. You need to extend the hip so that you're making at least a uh, 180 degree angle at the hip joint. Um, if you can, a little bit more extension of Stannis, he'll feel his glute max kick in. And now he's lifting the leg straight up and straight down, activating the muscles of the gluteus medius and possibly TFL. You can change the angles that you hit by changing the angle of the leg. So in this position, we're hitting the uh, lateral side hip um, uh, fibers of the glute med. If Estanis rotates the angle of foot upwards and starts doing the leg raise, that's going to come into the front fibres of the gluteus medius. Enjoying that. Get the leg extended, stack the hips. That's better. More difficult that way, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Are you having fun? I can't feel it now. Starting to feel it. Starting to do it right. If this is easy, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> so. Hit, uh, foot upright, foot horizontal, and the last one, you internally rotate the leg a little bit so the heel is upright, and lift up, keeping that extension, it's going to kick more back into the back uh, fibres of glute meat. Mm -hmm. You feel that? Yeah. And relax. You want to make that more difficult? Add a band. Do you want to add a band? So where should I put the band for? <laughs> Why don't you put it on the end of your ankles? Okay. <laughs> You're good at this, aren't you? <laughs> okay, so now you can straighten if, uh, both, both feet, so you've got an anchor point. Just straighten the glutes, uh, extend the hips, and lift that as high as you can. Okay. More challenging, 
the farther down the band is. If uh, Astonis brings the band, uh, yeah, yeah, a little bit easier, bring the band higher, it might get harder. Right. Let's see it. Bring it up to the knee. See what happens. Extend. And how does that feel? Easier? That feels easier, yeah. Okay. Easier. I need to go back to physics school. So the higher up, the easier. easier. The lower down, the harder. That's easier. Okie dokie. Yeah. So those are progressions uh, for glute activation lying on the floor. We're going to move on to standing versions. Thank you very much. So continuing on from activating the glute med on lying positions, we can now look at doing it in a seated position. This regression here is uh, typically for the less abled, whether or not it's coming from someone that's had surgery in the hip, someone that can't wait there, or someone that's just really lacking in any kind of connection in the glute med, you might want to throw this one at your grandma too. So, I've got this slider here. If you've got a wooden floor, you could use any kind of slippy cloth surface that you have. So, Stannis has got his foot on the slider, and all he's going to do, isolating his glute med, is try and open the leg to the end range of motion. For some people it will be more restricted and for others you'll probably find that there's more give. So here as you can see he's just repping it, he's going to keep the core quite braced, the back relatively straight and really just focus on the isolation in the hip. Nice, simple, easy to move through. You'll begin to start feeling some connection if you've never felt any before. So leveling up from our seat positions and lying positions, we're going to start challenging Astanis and his strength around the hip, still targeting the glute med. So Astanis is going to shift his weight onto his left foot, elevate the right foot, keeping the same cue points as before. So the hips need to stay quite level. As his, if he was on his side, they'd still be stacked, isolating into the hip, into the glute. Can you feel it, Astanis? Yes. Of course you can. And he's just going to raise that leg, nice, controlled and stable. What we want to look out for is any knee bends here. You'll find that he's likely cheating if he's going to start bending his leg, which you might not be able to see right now, but I can. So we're going to, there we go, straight, stable, isolated. Same again, we can use a band if needs be to make it harder. So if you want to throw that on now, obviously the lower the band is, the trickier it is to do. And there we go. Obviously the good thing about bands is the resistance varies. So as you start to complete with that, you can build up, use heavier bands. If you struggle with the band that you have, it's better to kind of work with body weight to start. And there you've got some hip adduction.